Oh, there you are, YouTube. Beautiful drawing. You make such good marks. Ooh, that's a unique place to draw. Cool, keep doing that, that was cool. Good thinking. Good thinking. Do you want to draw too? You gonna look for a pink one? Is that your favorite color? No longer yellow? Yellow used to be your favorite. Okay. Here, Mama's coming back. She's just gonna grab you a sweatshirt. Ooh, that's a good spot to color. So unique. Yeah. Heavy, heavy. Heavy pumpkin. That's a tiny pumpkin. That's not heavy. Where are you taking it? Hi, how you doing? We watching TV. Watching shows. We got a ragu going. We, more like my wife, got it going. Okay. There's meat in there that we have to pull out, put in there, and then shred it, and then put it back in here to make the sauce. Mm -hmm. Need the bigger tongs? Or... I think I need two tongs. Oh. Wow. So we just gotta shred that, and then once it's shredded, we put it back in here. You're gonna have to shred it. And um, then we'll have our sauce. Meat is shredded and has been added back in and it's on saute right now. And then we just wait for a while. How long do we wait? I just said until it thickens. Until it thickens. Here's all the fat and gristle we pulled out. This piece right here, it looks like there's a lot of meat. There is, but it was all attached to gristle. So I might just pick at it with my own teeth and eat that myself. A guy once told me that his favorite part of a steak was the gristle. He's wrong. We all know it. He's wrong. Has a ways to go before it's thick. We decided to call the sauce a little bit early because we're just that hungry, but this is what it looks like. The sauce Still going over there, but um, still topped our noodles with the ragu. Looks good to me. That was some pretty good dinner. The ragu sauce had like cinnamon and allspice in it, which made me think of Skyline Chili. Do you remember in like some older vlogs, I was like making Skyline Chili all the time, adding it to my macaroni and cheese. Well, that cinnamon, nutmeggy, nutmeg, well, maybe, that cinnamon uh, allspice flavor that you get when you eat Cincinnati chili, you know, Skyline chili, was also in this, but to a more mild extent. But you could taste it a little bit, you could smell it a little bit, and it was very good. And I ate two bowls of it. I shouldn't have done that, because we also had some desserts, which I, I forgot to show you those. I remember we've had these desserts sitting in our fridge for like, what, a day or two? Eh, just a day. And I think I said I was going to show them to you today, and I forgot. Anyway, the desserts was like a, it's like a blackberry trifle thing. And then also a white Russian little bar cheesecake sort of thing. And then, you know, white Russians, obviously the big Lebowski. I talked about that, meeting him in the previous video, yesterday's video, but um, yeah, man, those desserts were good and I regret not getting them on film for you. I apologize. But they come from a place uh, around town called Punch. It's like a bar. Maybe they serve food too, I don't know. My mother was the one who brought these desserts over for us, but um, they were very good. So I, I don't know. I. I don't know if Punch is a local joint or if it is a chain, but if it's a chain and you have one in your area, get their desserts. Their desserts are so good. So good. Uh, after that, we watched an episode of Bly Manor that we 
had watched before, but just sort of like fell asleep slash didn't pay attention. And then we, uh, so we finished that one and then we started another one and then we were like, you know what, too tired, got to stop this. And it's actually not that late. I don't even think it's 10 yet. It could be maybe 10 on the nose right now, but we're just really tired and need to <laughs> get to bed. Um, so that I decided to come upstairs and finish up this vlog so that I can edit it edit it and then put it up online and then pass out because I am so tired and perhaps I'll see you tomorrow for more pure hangout.